Hi everyone, welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you how to make a spectacular roasted leg of lamb. It's going to be slow roasted with potatoes and it's going to be stuffed with a delicious spinach and feta cheese and pine nut mixture. It's, it's really easy to make, super fancy, perfect for your holiday table. We're going to take it step by step and we're going to start with marinating our lamb. So over here I have it's about a five pound boneless leg of lamb. I bought it like this from the market with the bone removed, but if you know how to remove the bone, go ahead and do that. What we're gonna do before we create the marinade is we're gonna open it up as much as possible. And then the very thick parts, I'm gonna cut maybe about one inch or so down the bottom, just so that way there's more surface area for the marinade and it could lay more flat and it'll be much easier to roll up afterwards. That's it, make sure not to go all the way down. These are all classic flavors that just go so well together with lamb. And we're gonna start off by juicing lemon, fresh lemon of course, and of course you always wanna use fresh lemon juice. Now we're gonna need about a quarter cup of lemon juice, so these two lemons are pretty big, it should be enough. That looks about right. I'm gonna put that in my bowl. Now that looks like a little bit more than a quarter cup, but I love lemon with lamb lemon with lamb i love lemon with anything really so i like to go heavy on lemon a quarter cup is a good amount where it'll be just lemony enough if you like more go ahead and add more then i'm going to grate these two um, garlic cloves in here it really melts the garlic so it just melts into the marinade and whatever you're putting it in i'm also going to put about half a teaspoon or so of cumin powder and some dried oregano and then I'm also going to put some fresh rosemary. Now I have rosemary growing in my backyard and it's just, it just goes so well with lamb. I feel like lamb and rosemary are like soulmates. <laughs> they need to go together in a recipe. It really helps just like break down that lamb flavor and just add so much freshness. If you don't have rosemary, then you can just go ahead and put some extra oregano. You can put some thyme in there. But just make sure to use the, the leaves, not the stem. The stem is super woody. I'm just gonna finally chop these, get that into my marinade, and then last but definitely not least is some good olive oil. So I'm gonna put about a third of a cup of olive oil or so, not too much because lamb is a very fatty meat and I just don't want this to be a super greasy meal, so a third of a cup should do it. Let's get this over here. We're just going to pour the marinade over the lamb. Now, once you do that, make sure it's coated all around. And you can also, of course, there's no salt and pepper in the seasoning. I like to salt and pepper the meat directly. That way I know how much is going in. And I'm going to do both sides. Salt and freshly cracked black pepper. I'm going to flip this over, wash my hands, do the same thing on the other side. Perfect. Now, so you can marinate this lamb a day ahead of time, or you can do it like I'm doing it right before you're about to roast it. I'm going to set this aside so that way you can just sit there and absorb all that goodness. And now we're going to move on to making the filling. So for the filling, we just need some very basic ingredients. So we need a little bit of pine nuts, about a quarter cup, two whole garlic cloves, about eight ounces of baby spinach leaves, some fresh green onions or scallions, feta cheese, a uh, whole feta cheese in a chunk. Make sure you don't buy the crumbled kind, we'll crumble it later on. And then some fresh mint, salt and pepper. And of course some olive oil, that doesn't even need to be said. We're gonna do everything in one pan. So I'm gonna toast the pine nuts first because they need to be toasted in a dry pan. You could also do that in the oven. So my oven is already preheated to 350. I'm just doing this so I could show it to you all in one pan, but you could also pop them in the oven for about five minutes or until they're frag fragrant. Don't let them get brown, otherwise they're gonna taste burnt. Simple, easy, easy peasy. Um, toasting nuts really, really brings out their flavor and just makes them taste so much better. While that's happening, I am going to chop up my scallions because I don't know, anytime I put spinach and feta in something, it just reminds me of spanakopita. And those flavors, spanakopita really means spinach pie and I have an amazing recipe that 
you haven't checked out, you should. I'll post it up in the, I'll link it up in the comments uh, above. But basically that spinach and scallions and dill and feta, all those uh, flavors are just such classic flavors that go well together. And I thought, why not combine some of those and just stuff the lamb with them? And it, and it just turned out so well that I'm sharing the recipe with you now. But back to slicing the scallions. We're just gonna slice these all the way down to the white part. So scallions are done. I'll move my pan around. Now I'm just gonna roughly chop these spinach leaves. My pine nuts are ready as well. I can smell them. So I'm just gonna let them cool and sit in this bowl while we, to, while we warm through our scallions and cook them in a little bit of oil in this pan. So I'm just gonna put about two, three tablespoons of olive oil in here. And I'm just gonna cook the scallions through just until they've wilted and softened. That should take about five minutes. Okay, so our scallions are nice and soft. Now I'm gonna put in two cloves of grated garlic. And I'm just gonna warm it through a couple of seconds so that way it doesn't burn. Really, that's good because it's gonna cook in here with all of this spinach. The spinach, we're just gonna stir it until it's all wilted and that's just gonna take a few minutes. And the spinach is wilted. We're gonna take it off the heat. Mint is another fabulous aromatic herb that just goes so nicely with lamb. And all you need is about a tablespoon of chopped mint. You can put more if you wanted to. But I'm just gonna chop this up because mint goes really well with feta too. So feta, spinach, mint. Ah, it smells incredible in here. We're just gonna put this spinach mixture into our mixing bowl. Then we're gonna season, not season, then we're just gonna crumble this feta cheese in. Mix it all up. I'm also gonna put in some freshly cracked black pepper. Now really you can stuff anything with this mixture. This is great in mushrooms. Just make some stuffed mushrooms with this, sprinkle some mozzarella cheese on top, and you've got an appetizer in no time. I'm gonna give this a taste to see if it needs any salt. just a little bit. Salt, the right amount of salt, really put, brings all the flavors together, so don't be afraid to add salt. Now, you don't wanna to do too much either because the feta is already salty enough. We're gonna set this aside, and now we're just gonna prepare our potatoes. So I have some baking potatoes here that I've peeled. I have my pan, my baking pan. You can use any nine by 13 inch baking pan. I have this round one that fits that fits everything perfectly, so I'm just gonna use that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quarter these potatoes, because they're gonna cook in the oven, they're gonna slow roast with the lamb for a long time, so you don't wanna cut these too small, because then they'll melt. I mean, there's nothing wrong with some melted mashed potatoes with all those delicious pan drippings, but they're gonna, we wanna serve these whole, so quarters are fine. And if you have a small potato like this one, just cut into two pieces in half. So now, uh, you know that I like to season all the way, every step of the way. I've juiced another lemon, and I'm just gonna pour the lemon juice on top. I'm not gonna bother putting any oil, be because a lot of the fat will melt from the lamb and drip into the bottom of the pan and season these, so I definitely don't wanna make it greasy. Just season the potatoes really well with some salt, some black pepper, and some dried oregano. Mix everything all up. Now we're gonna fill our lamb with this delicious filling. So you wanna get this filling in all the little crevices of the lamb, really get it in there. Perfect. And now we're just gonna roll it up. Roll it up as best as you can. And now you wanna have some kitchen twine ready. And just hold it together, go underneath first. And tie it together. Pull it so that we can be sort of tight so it can hold it in place. Just make a little knot. I'll cut this excess, excess string off in a little bit. And now I'm gonna go all around. So 
now I'm going to bring my roasting pan next to me. I'm going to make a little room in the center. I'm just going to pick this up and put it in the center of the roasting pan in between all of those potatoes. And then I'm going to take all of this goodness that's in the pan, all this marinade, the spinach and feta and pine nuts, and I'm just going to pour it over the top. I don't want to waste any of this flavor. And then I have a sheet of parsley, actually no, before I put the sheet of parsley paper, I'm going to season a little bit more with some salt and pepper. This is a big cut of meat, it's about five pounds, it's going to need lots of salt. Potatoes don't have too much flavor, so don't be afraid to salt them. As a matter of fact, you should salt them really, really well. And then we're going to put a piece of parchment paper on top, crumble it up so that way the sides it in the pan easily. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to cover this with aluminum foil, put it in the center rack of the oven. I'm going to let this bake for two hours covered with aluminum foil. Then I'm going to go in, remove the aluminum foil and the parchment paper, and I'm going to let it cook for another half hour, or if you want it cooked like falling apart, you can cook it a little longer. Uncovering, uncovering it ensures that it'll get really beautifully golden on top, and I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it comes out. So my lamb is ready. It took almost three hours actually for it to cook, and the other day when I made it, when I was testing recipes, it took exactly two and a half hours. Now. If you know Greeks, you know that we like our lamb really, really well done. Almost the meat like should be like melting and falling apart. If you like yours either rare or medium well or before, or if you don't want it falling apart and you don't want it well done like, like I like to eat it, then make sure you invest in one of these oven safe meat thermometers because it has a gauge on here and it tells you what temperature you should take it out in. <laughs> Try not to drop it. So what temperature you should take the meat out in. So, But I like it really well done, so I cook it until it's beautifully golden all around and the meat is really nice and soft. Once you take it out, let it rest at least 10 to 15 minutes so the juices can redistribute and it's nice and, and then it's much easier to, uh, to slice it. Now, I also made a cucumber salad because cucumber, mint, and yogurt just go so well with this dish. All I did was I sliced and I peeled some cucumbers, I chopped up some mint and mixed in some yogurt and a tiny touch of sour cream with some salt and pepper and then just mixed it all up and the salad is ready. It's nice and refreshing. So simple, doesn't get easier than that. Now I'm just going to cut these strings off and we're going to slice this lamb. Just look at how beautiful it looks inside. Look at that swirl of spinach and feta and pine nuts. It's just beautiful. I'm just going to continue to slice this and put it on my serving platter and then we're going to bite into it and taste it. So in my plate here I have a slice of the lamb. I'm also going to put a potato with some of the gravy that's on the bottom of the pan. And this makes a lot of sauce if you look into the pan. You're going to see that the potatoes are almost sitting and swimming in these pan drippings and this beautiful gravy that has emerged. Now you could save all that and put it in a little gravy boat and serve it alongside the meal so anybody who wants some more can just drizzle it all over their food. Now the way I like to eat it, when I was little, anytime there was roasted potato in a dish, I always like to mash it. It's like a mashed potato. And then I like to put lots of the pan drippings in there and the gravy. Let me get some more. The best mashed potatoes ever. Look at that. And that's how I like to eat it, you guys. I still eat it like that as a grown-up. The lamb is super soft. Mm. The potatoes are lemony. The lamb is really flavorful. The filling is very refreshing. I love the pine nuts in there. If you guys don't like pine nuts, you can leave them out. If you want, if you like a combination of kind of like sweet and sour, or sweet and savory, I should say, go ahead and put in some raisins. Those would be nice in there as well. Let me have another bite. Mm. Comfort food at its best. 
You guys know where to get the recipe, www.demetriusdishes.com. Make this for your holiday table, serve it, take pictures, and share them with me on social media. I love to see your recreations on Facebook and on Instagram. Tag me, post them on my page, whatever you want to do. But make sure you make this. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Yes, us.